So the last OSIM Gaming chair I reviewed, I had mixed feelings about the functionality of the chair, but oh boy, the things really took a turn with this new OSIM U-Throne V. It is also a gaming and massage chair, but I would say the massage on this is top notch. Okay, welcome back to another review guys, Ryan here again with another Osim U-Throne chair review but today we'll be talking about the Osim U-Throne V and I guess the chair adopts a lot of similar designs as compared to other gaming chairs in such a way that you have the race car bucket seats as well as the adjustable armrest and also a recline feature so in this review I wouldn't be going too much in depth about these features but what I will be focusing on is its massage functionalities Alright, so let's focus on the design aspects of this chair. So overall, the design is kept quite simple, but unfortunately, you still have to power the chair through a power cable that is attached underneath the chair and into a wall socket. Similar to the U-Throne S, but I would say that the design of this chair is kept a lot simpler because before with the U-Throne S, you have uh, one cable attached to the wall socket and if you want to power additional massage appliances that you can combine with the chair, you will have to use external batteries, which in my opinion is uh, really really annoying. So fortunately only one power cable in this chair. Cables are nicely tucked under and they have cable management clips where you can sort of organize your cable so you wouldn't necessarily have to roll against them or sort of like if you tend to roll around a lot I think you can definitely rely on those cables because they're tucked quite nicely and neatly. The cable itself is really quite long so I, I would say that if your table is a little bit further away from the wall plug there is no issues there with that. Um, what are the things? So you also have a side hook here, similar to the other Osim U-Throne uh, chairs where you can hook your appliances. Some people use it for headphones and I think Osim recommends you using your headphones but I feel like this could be used a lot more rather than just headphones. And one interesting thing that I feel is before with the previous U-Throne uh, chairs, you have a different functionalities on how you want to control your massages but right now it's nicely just tucked right below the seat so if you are reclining or if you're sitting upright it's really easy and uh, you can just click through the menus to go through the different massages that you want to. The recline feature is a little bit less limited I would say 145 degree recline which is 10 degrees less than the U-Tone S so the U-Tone S does 155 but in my opinion, 145 degrees is more than enough to keep you in a relaxed position. And uh, oh, if you have noticed, this particular chair that I have is the Transformer series. So this one that I'm sitting on right now is the Bumblebee design. So it's decked out with a lot of yellow and black accents just like Bumblebee itself. There is also another option where you can opt for the Optimus Prime, which is more red and blue accented. And for those of you that prefer to keep things relatively simple and not too flashy, you'll be glad to know that there is also an all black version, which honestly I personally prefer. But um, yes, for the armrest, so similar to other gaming chairs, you have all the functionalities. This is, chair is also height adjustable as well as the recline, which I've already mentioned. The, oh, the chair also comes with a lumbar cushion, which you can remove. And the reason for that is because the massage feature of this chair uses what they call the V-Hand technology. So uh, they actually have the V-Hands embedded inside the chair and when you're using the massage, it can go up and down. So you would imagine if you have the lumbar support, it will kind of get in the way because the V-Hand can't really penetrate uh, to massage your skin. But I guess some people would prefer to use it without, but in honesty, I think I would prefer not to. Another cushion that also comes with the chair is the headrest. So this can be adjusted to its height. Uh, if you're shorter or if you're taller, it can be fully adjustable and also removed if you prefer not to have a headrest. Now let's talk about the functions of this chair. This is where I believe the u V really stands out from other gaming chairs or even massage chairs as that. The V-Hand technology, as I mentioned before, works really well, or at least it works really well for me. So what happens is that they have these hands within the chair and it goes up and down. So the interesting thing about this chair is you can even customize the adjustment or the position of the V-Hands if you want to focus on a specific point on your back that you want to massage. So for people like myself where we sit on tables, uh, doing edits, having Zoom calls with clients and stuff like that for hours on end, my lower back hurts a lot more than the rest of my other back. So I can position the V-Hands to just target where I feel the most pain and I can just have a 15 minutes long massage from that. But if you want to have um, a more comprehensive massage, they even have 
uh, three different massage functions that you can choose from within the program. So they're called auto program. And apart from that, I understand that some of you that may purchase the chair would have different stature. So if you're taller or shorter, the interesting thing, one more interesting thing is that you can adjust the shoulder position of the of the V-hand so that the chair actually knows where your shoulders are. So it can customize the program to sort of target your shoulders and also like uh, did I already mention that it even goes up all the way to your neck which I feel is really nice because my neck also tends to get hurt a lot uh, when I'm using the computer. So apart from the functions where you can select your own different programs or more like the specific areas of the massage uh, where you want to focus on on your back, you even have your auto program. So you have three programs to choose from. You have your neck and shoulders, energize and lumbar which is my personal favourite because as I mentioned before my lower back hurts a lot when I'm sitting on hours on end. Alright, so down to my summary and personal opinion. I guess like from the gist of this video, you can see and you can understand that I have a lot of good things to say about this chair. And I guess at the end of the day, the only one point that I would like to point out is honestly just the power situation because you, can, you still have to plug it into the wall in order to power up the massage. But other than that, I've had this chair for about two weeks in the office and uh, throughout the two weeks, I even had my colleagues test the chair and everyone has said good things about it. The massage really works, it's really comfortable. Um, so I guess the true selling point of this chair is really the convenience because I don't have to get up to, to you know, lie down and stuff like that. I can just get my massage relief uh, within the chair and I can still continue doing my work at, at that. Now, it boils down to the price. How much will you be paying for this OSIM U Throne V? So in Singapore, even though I would say this chair is considered a premium price of $849, I guess you have to really look at it from a standpoint that this chair is not only a gaming chair or a work chair, it really also is a massage chair. And looking from it from a massage chair standpoint, it is quite a really affordable chair. And uh, for our international users, you'll be paying an approximate of $600 USD. So, I don't think I have seen other chairs out there even in the uh, European regions or the US regions where they have a brand which focuses on massage first and gaming second. So if you're really interested in looking at something like this, there really only is OSIM which uh, for some people, for most of us in Singapore, we're very familiar with the brand. And um, yeah, I highly recommend you trying this chair out because I was totally blown away right from the start when I sat on it. Alright, so we have come to the end of this review and before I end the video, I just wanted to mention that Osim is not sponsoring this video so I'm really only sharing my honest opinions. And uh, if you like more videos like this, you can always check us out on our socials and check me out on Instagram at Ryan Mamba. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ryan Mamba's perspective and I'll see you guys in the next one.